Satisfaction. Remember what you get when my fear for nothing comes. So in today's video is a requested video for my friends and family and I created this on the Eid day. This is the look I rocked on that day. You know what I mean? I'll be putting a picture over there or there at the other side for you guys to see how I was rocking my look on the Eid day. So this is what I'll be recreating for you guys and I love this look. On that day, I was like, let me do something simple and go now because we don't have time. I have a little girl, a little baby, so I was doing everything fast, 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 and I was like, let me do something simple, no eyeshadow, nothing, and let me, let me go my way, you know what I mean? So we celebrated this eat um, with the family. I enjoyed this eat. I will lie to you. So um, this look without eyeshadow i just used some counter powder and contour highlight powder for my eyeshadow i didn't use any uh, eyeshadow palette i am loving this look hey i'm looking like a beautiful bride i'm looking like a new bride without too much talking if you want to see how i created this beautiful and pretty look why not keep watching and let's get into the video guys now that i'm done with my brows the next step I'll be doing is I'll be priming my face and I'll be using the Becca Ever Matte Polish uh, Primer. So this is my all time favorite because it is a mattifying primer. So I'll not repeat myself. I have oily skin on my T-zone area. I have combination skin rather. So I have oily on my T-zone area. So this place I don't have to joke with, especially my nose and my forehead because I'm not going anywhere, so I'll not waste my product. I'm just showing you guys how I created my eat look. Because I have that spot, I'll be applying my orange corrector and I'll be using the LA Pro, LA Girl Pro, Pro, Pro. Today, dear, it's not okay. I think I didn't sleep well today. So the orange corrector I'll be using is from LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade in the shade orange orange corrector so i'm applying it on my dark spots even my dark spots has reduced before hmm. after i gave birth i had a lot of dark spots and as you guys can see that spot is not a good thing this concealer is a full coverage concealer i love it by the way so i'm applying it just on my dark spots because the foundation i'm using is also a full coverage foundation so i will not waste my uh, corrector and i'm applying the corrector under my eye and you can either blend it with your finger like so you can choose to blend it with a brush but with your finger also it's okay so next i'll be applying my powder and the powder i'm using for the whole look i'm using the laura messier translucent powder so i'll apply this all over my face all over why am i doing this because i have oily skin so if you have dry skin you don't need to be applying powder 
like this like the way i'm doing and especially my nose i need more powder there i noticed yesterday when i did it like this for the eat i i think it was more than eight hours i never produced any oil so it is perfect the foundation i'm using today is the juvia place i am magic foundation and i am in the shade Burkina 3 turn so this foundation is a full coverage foundation and it is one of my favorites especially when i am going to some occasion because this foundation is mattifying foundation i'm just showing you guys otherwise like i will not use this foundation because i'm not going anywhere but i have to show you people what i used to achieve that look gives you very very flawless finish now that my foundation is applied i'll be applying my concealer and i'll be using the shade 40 color pop no filter concealer the one i used for my brows was the one from 42 i think 42 i used the one from 42 but i'm using 40 under my eye as my concealer because that one is lighter so i'll be using it under my eye So I will wait for some time for it to dry. Whilst I'm waiting for it to dry, I'll be applying my contour like this. And I'm using also Juvia Place Stick in the shade 11. So I'll be blending my contour and I'll wait for my concealer to dry before I can blend it. So your contour, you need to blend it upwards. Now that my contour is blended, sorry, I'll go ahead and blend my concealer and don't move your concealer. You can also blend your concealer with a sponge, but I love blending my concealer with a brush because sponge, using your sponge, it end up sucking all your product. So I don't want to move my concealer, so I'm blending it with my fingertips so that I can snatch that nose, that big nose. If you want to see a tutorial on how I used to get my nose snatched, looking like I have done a surgery, 
I've done a surgery, then let me know on the comment section or in one of my social media. So I'll be contouring my nose and I'm using the same contour for my nose, the Juvia Place, and I'll just apply it. You see, so now I'll be blending my contour. So next I'll be using my powder to set the places where I highlighted. I'm pressing the powder into my skin before I'll bake. I'll be applying some on my forehead You can also use translucent powder on your whole face Of course, why not? I am applying some on my nose So now I'll be baking. Don't be afraid because the powder looks so white. But whilst you are done, everything will be okay. Yes. So I'm not applying so much powder. Next, I'll be using my contour powder. So I'm using the one from LA Girl Pro Contour Powder in the shade so i have here highlight and i also have here contour powder so i'm using the shade medium deep so i'll be using that for my contour so this powder is also very very good guys also this palette i mean this palette is also very very good if you are a starter you don't need to um buy so much product as you guys can see it is so so much pigmented so you need just a little just a little contour there's a long way you see how beautiful this contour is you see the way I am snatching it. So I'll be using that, that same powder. Let me snatch here. So I'm using the same powder on my nose again. You don't need too much. Just a little goes a long way. Now that I'm done with my contour I'm moving forward to my eye I'm not doing much even I'm not using any eyeshadow <laughs> so I'll be using this contour powder let me use the same contour brush I used for my nose I'll be using this contour powder on top of my eye just to give it some 
shadow and I hope that makes sense so I'm just using a little bit you see just a little bit you can decide to leave it like this it is good but I want to add something to make sure I'm not missing anything very very simple and I love it I love it so next I'll be using this highlight powder just a little bit on my eyelid we are going for very natural look here very very natural So that's it. That's it. So I'm going again with that brush I took for the contour to blend everything in together to avoid any harsh line. So you see, very nice. I will be doing my eyeliner. Forget This is how I made my eyeliner. So the one at the outer corner and the other one at the inner corner. I think as a beginner, or I am very, very sure, it will be very, very difficult for you to draw your <laughs> liner over there. So you can escape this one or you can try to make something, but don't make it very scary, oh, please. Don't make it very scary, especially when your face is scary. Don't make it also scary, please. Yeah, I'm just kidding. I'll be dusting off my powder and I'll be using my LA Girl Pro. I think today I'm, I'm using LA Girl, LA Girl all over. So I'll be using my LA Girl Pro face powder on my face and I love this powder. I love this one. Everything about LA Girl, girl, it is affordable and it is good. So I'm using it on my face to dust that powder you just need a little bit smoothes everything mix everything together you know so that you don't have any harsh line I hope you get what I mean but still you still get that contour thing going on I'll go ahead and do my blush before I'll apply my lashes. So the blush I'll be using today is from Max and More. This was my very first blush I was using since I started makeup and I loved it. I I love it. Not I loved it. I love it. So can you see the hole inside? That means I love it. So I'll be using just a little bit goes a long way. Try it here over here. And you can also use eyeshadow, a colorful eyeshadow like this. As a beginner, you don't need to spend too much. You can also use eyeshadow for your blush. Let me show you some eyeshadow which you can also use for your blush. So you can even use this, this, this one like this shade for your blush this and this i hope you guys can see it. this and this for your blush you don't need to get too much you know you are using makeup just for personal use you don't need to buy too much makeup you can also use some little little things to create 
lips and look like this and also affordable makeup to create very simple and gorgeous look like this we're using my melanie sun glow highlights which is in the shade 03 for my highlight this highlight is also affordable i think I, I can't remember how uh, how much I got it, but I think it is less than 15 euros. So it is also affordable. This look, I didn't use any high-end products unless I think the translucent powder is a little bit expensive. But all the products I used are affordable. And look at the glow I'm getting you see let me spray my brush so that I can get and spray my face so that I can get that glow so wait a minute for it to dry you see I'm getting that glow so sometimes it helps It on my lips like this so I'll be applying my mascara and this mascara is from essence you better walk that is the name so I'll be applying it on my lashes I used to forget about this uh, mascara because I have so many uh, makeup and sometimes I used to forget about some of the good products I have or I am having because this this mascara is very very good and affordable I think I got it for uh, 2 euros getting to 3 euros for those people who are in Belgium, I got it in cred fat. Cred fat. So don't bother yourself and go and buy some mascara, 25 euro mascara. Go for it, my sister. Mascara is mascara now. So I'll be putting on my lashes. And this is this is exactly the lashes I used uh, on each day. So I'll be using the same uh, lashes. It looks very, very natural, guys and it's it is like you have nothing on that is how natural it looks so now i'm taking off the glue because that day when i came home at night i was so lazy to take off the glue so i'm doing it now don't blame me oh three kids hey it's not easy job oh. three kids and hey, when you want to look good hey my sister it's not easy job but we thank god for our strength and also for life for our lives because without life we are not here to have that strength to do everything we want so we thank god for that we thank allah for that and we hope for so so many more years Inshallah. So I'm applying this glue. With this glue, you don't even need to wait to. That is why I love it. I think I bought this glue also in Crefat. I had it so so many years. So I don't even when I bought it by then, I was like at the end, I was like, what am I even going to do with this glue? You know? By then, I was not taking makeup that serious, but it got to a time where I got so much interest because when I when I do my makeup, people are always commenting that your makeup is very very nice. How did you do it? That is the main reason why I started my YouTube channel because people were asking, "We want to see how you do it," and blah blah blah, and that is the easiest way I can do it for people to see to create a YouTube channel so I'll be applying my lashes
if you want to see a video on how I apply my false lashes then uh, go and check it out I also have a video on how I applied my individual individual hey I also have a video on how I always apply my individual lashes so you can also go and check it out check it out now that I'm done with my lashes, I'll be using Ketri's Cosmetics Long Lasting Lip Pencil. It lasts up to 6 hours and it is waterproof. So using this lip liner on my eyelid. Rania. Kargi wa, kargi. Next, I will be using mascara on my lower lash line. So guys, now that I'm done with my eye, I'll go ahead and spray my face once again. And it's this smells so good. So next I'll be moving forward to my lips because my girl is awake and I have to be very very fast. I'll be moving forward to my lips and I'll be using the pencil from Max and More pencil. You can also use it as your eye pencil. So I've gotten my lip pencil. So next the lip. Today I'll be using lipstick. So I'll be using lipstick from Essence. So I got this one in the shade 03. It is me. I got this one also from Great Fat. This is how nude it is looking like. Very, very cute. I love I love the packaging. And it looks like this. Let me show you guys. It looks like this and half a shade like this. It is very, very cute. So I'll be applying that in the inner. And blend it. I need more nude, so I'll be using my concealer to get that nude that I want. My finishing touch, I'll be applying my uh, highlighter on my brow bone. Guys, I love I love this look. Very simple and cute. I love this look. So this is my finishing look. I hope I didn't forget anything. I don't think so. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, let me turn for you guys to see how I am looking. How do I look? How do I look? Hi, <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>